Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, today is election day, the day that will decide the fate of the American people. Will we here see a blue Democrat straight up communist globalist wave right over our country in which we will be led like sheep to the slaughter of globalist and tyranny if they take uh, the House and Congress in midterm elections? Or will we see the red wave and have a little more time to build up our nation here in, a, in our country and support the Trump situation? Well, the decision is yours. Mind you, there is a lot of election fraud happening right now. There's long lines and rumors uh, of hacking the system. And not only that, but dead people are everywhere. The Democratic Party is infamous for bringing up dead people's voter information and giving it to people who have not registered to vote and sending them to the polling places over and over and over again to vote as dead persons. This is why I say if you uh, are, are not out there voting, please get out and vote right now. The only way to uh, overcome the corruption by the Democratic Party is for us to vote in mass hordes because the amount of corruption that we are witnessing. And not only that, but here we are at election day and I've shared on my channel repeatedly the amount of censorship that big tech organizations like Facebook and Twitter have pushed on us, censoring only one political view and leaving the other wide open. Well, today is no different. Today is election day and it's happening even more so. Not just censorship, but election meddling. Check out this report. This one's from Infowars.com and it's titled Democrats caught meddling in midterms hours before election. Democrat pollsters feign expertise in follow-up of disastrous 2016 predictions. Huh. It doesn't stop one day. It won't stop tomorrow after the election. They'll only get worse. We have to bring attention to what they're doing and call things out for what they are. But that's not all. Facebook is also interfering in the election. This past October, I did a report how Facebook removed 800 groups. It just so happens that a majority of those were conservatives and, and, and Republican and semi-right-leaning reports that they removed from their website, leaving all the leftist groups out there, right? Not only that, now today, today, they've removed a hundred some odd more. Check out this report, and this is on ktla5.com. Facebook blocks 115 accounts linked to groups attempting to interfere in the U.S. midterm election. Hmm. 115 groups gone today, just gone. Is it any surprise that many of those are on more of the Republican side than any on the left side? Surprise! Democrats are interfering in the election again. In fact, I went to one of the groups that I am an admin on. It's called uh, The News You Won't See on TV, Melvin Dare's group. He's an admin as well. And the entire group has been wiped mysteriously. Here's, here's what I actually got when I clicked on the screen. Not only that, but I also found an article uh, here, and this is on Fellowship of the Minds. Facebook also took down their group just in time for the midterm elections. But never fear right? Because Facebook is allowing everything on the left, even white genocide groups. Check out this report. This one's on Daily Mail, published today. Facebook approved a white genocide ad campaign targeted at conspiracy theorists who think outside forces want to exterminate the white race. Huh. There is a ton of election meddling going on, and it's happening by the mainstream media. CNN, MSNBC, ABC, pretty much all of them, and Fox has kind of been on the fence lately, are all anti-Trump, are all anti-Republican. That means something. And same now with these big tech organizations who are constantly bowing down to the left and allowing things like white genocide ads while purposefully eliminating groups who are simply pro-Trump or just love America. Nothing racist about the groups. This is what 
is happening. But you know what? We are making headway. And we, we maybe, maybe we'll see a red wave or maybe, and I pray against any blue wave. But there are predictions coming in that I want to show you. This one, first one here, is from townhall.com. Vegas odd maker predicts GOP upset. Now, he is predicting a win for the GOP. But the report goes on to state that back in 2016, uh, the Vegas odd maker predicted a Trump victory when no one else did. He basically predicted it because of the size of Trump's rallies and how they were far bigger than Hillary's. Now, if you read this article, what it gives you examples of in Vegas, you know, Hillary had one to 200 people showed up while Trump had 10,000 people show up. That is a very simple way to say, well, who's voting more for Trump and who's voting more for Hillary? And one who pays attention like he was can very clearly see that Trump's sizes are a lot bigger. And it's been that way still. His rallies, his turnups have been huge. Yet we have a, a, a rally for um Bernie, and it's very, very small. You see, so he is predicting in this article, and I encourage you to read it, that there will be another victory for the GOP. But he's not the only one. Check out this second article. This one's here is from InfoWars. Final Gallup poll. Majority of Americans think Republicans will retain the House. Predictions have come true every time since 1946. Now, this goes on to state that according to the results, 50% of Americans think Republicans will retain control of the House as compared to 44% who think Democrats will win enough seats to gain the victory. But you know, there are a lot of other sites predicting a win for the globalist Democrats. Here's one of those at 538.com, seven and eight chance for the Democrats to win and one in eight for the Republicans uh, to gain or keep control. That's where we're at. I don't know which way it's going to go, but I know if that blue wave comes, we're heading into tyrannical globalism and mass censorship of the internet. I know if the red wave hits that we've got a little more time on our hands to fix things in our country and attempt to stop some of the things that are limiting our freedom. There's a reason the Democrats only get the young votes. Because let's be honest, when we were younger in college and high school, we didn't know as much as we know now. And they take advantage of that. There's a reason they have to go to dead people to get votes. Because anyone in their right mind knows better than to push an agenda like what the globalist Democrats are pushing. And if they win, that's what's going to happen. It is very likely that they will take over every aspect of the internet. No more freedom of speech. We can kiss it goodbye. And we could be headed to hell in a handbasket. Please make your voice heard. Let everybody know who you vote for. Help those who maybe don't understand. Help give rides to people today if they need to get to the polls. All that said, I'd love to get your thoughts and comments and concerns on all of this. And please don't forget to check out my partner. They've got a new coin out called the Morgan. And I want to show it to you. Uh, let me show you both sides here. You can see the one side here. And then on the head side, uh, you can also see that. But these are authentic, the real deal. And right now, you can get them at historicsilvercoins.com. I'll leave a link below, but that's historicsilvercoins.com. And with the code Lisa, you can get $5 off. These are great memorabilia to have. Uh, and like I said, um, they're the real deal. They're very authentic. This one is back from 1886. Uh, so it's just something that's really good to have and a great bartering tool. Anyhow, uh, I'd love to get your thoughts, comments, and concerns on everything that's going on. What do you think about the election? Uh, what about the election terrifies you most? I've already kind of shared some of the things that literally scare me about this election. Please pray for a good turnout today. Anyhow, well, I love you guys. Please like and share uh, if you like the broadcast and share it everywhere. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.